Hello guys, my name is Abbas and welcome to Master Coding Channel. In this tutorial we are going to continue with the Android Jetpack course and we will start learning about the architecture component. This is important uh, co components in the, uh, introduced in the Jetpack. So, what are these architecture components and how they work? We will learn uh, through this course with full details and full apps and real apps. Please, if this is your first time here, uh, subscribe below to get the latest tutorials and uh, get uh, informed and benefit from our latest tutorials and our lessons. And you can download Master Android and Master Android app, uh, Pro apps from uh, Play Store to get the, these written lessons. And you can subscribe to our uh, Udemy course, the Complete Android uh, Developer course and support us with ten dollars okay let's start android architecture components recently google announced a set of new libraries of this for designing android apps architecture these uh, uh, these libraries are introduced in the android architecture component so Android architecture components are collection of libraries that help you to design robust, uh, testable, and maintainable apps. Start with the classes for the managing your UI component lifecycle and handle data persistence. Okay. I hope you uh, you are safe from a uh, coronavirus because it is a pandemic. Uh, and globalized, globalized pandemic affecting all countries. Okay, Android Jetpack will help you uh, to deal with the change, challenges you eventually face as an Android developer. Writing boilerplate code, managing activities and lifecycle, surviving configuration changes or preventing memory leaks. We prefer using these libraries. So, as in a progress, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a contact list application using Android Jetpack, which stores information about people that you have met and prevent and protect against coronavirus. Create a room database to store and retrieve data and use the view model to isolate the cases from the view. You view data and observe changes using uh, live data and simplify navigation and data passing with the app using navigation components. So let's boost your our coding career using the Jetpack. Please rate us on your Demi five stars. So keep making tutorials and subscribe below. Comment, uh, subscribe and comment below to keep us making new tutorials freely without any payment or anything. Okay, getting started. All Jetpack components are available on Google Maven repository. So open the build.gradle uh, uh, file on your project, add the Google uh, method repository as shown below in this way. So we are adding the Google under the repositories. You can then add the Jetpack components such as architecture component like live data and view model as shown here. So next videos, we are going to see the lay of data, the view model, the room database, and other architecture components like navigations and uh, data binding. Now, as a general idea or general uh, step, if you want to use any of architecture component, you are going to define uh, the dependencies uh, in the Gradle file and add def lifecycle version 2.2.0. This is the latest uh, version at the uh, time of making this video. Implementation, these are for uh, Kotlin if you are using the Kotlin. So when you see KTX, this is for the uh, Kotlin. Manage pack libraries provide Android KTX extensions as shown below above with lifecycle, live data, and KTX. And lifecycle view model KTX. This KTX extension build upon the Java-based API, taking the advantage of 
Kotlin specific language features. So if you are using the Kotlin, you can use this. There are four main components or four components, each with a specific role. So remember, we, are, we have the Jetpack. The Jetpack contains a Android architecture component. The Android architecture component contains four specific uh, or components called Room, View Model, Live Data, and Life Cycle. All of these parts have their own responsibilities and they work together to create a solid architecture. Let's take a look at a simplified diagram of, opposed, of the proposed architecture to understand it better. Okay, this is the activity. We have the activity above. Share its life cycle with view model and observe life cycle, life data from view model. This will pass the data for life cycle. Live view model will take or monitor the views life cycle, providing it with the, a live data taken from the repository. So the data is here. The view model will take the data from repository and pass it to the live data, which is observable. So in order to understand this concept, Remember the activity fragment, we have, it takes life cycle, then the view model will monitor the views of the life cycle, providing it with the live data taken from repository. Take, this takes uh, data from uh, the repository and pass it to the live data, which is observable and pass it again to the live activity or the fragment. Repository takes and handle persistent data from room, makes calls from to web services and so on. So repository takes uh, data from room, SQL data, or from web services. As a conclusion for this diagram to, under, to be understandable, when the activity start, a uh, life cycle will be started again, and uh, we started the first, and then the view model will take the data from repository. Repository will take data either from room or web services, then pass it again to the view model. View model will pass live the live data and pass it the activity of a fragment. Okay, so what are the old mistakes? Until the last Google I.O. Uh, the uh, Android system did not recommend a specific architecture for ap application development. That means that we, you were uh, completely free to adopt any model out there, either MVP or MVC or MVPP, or even no pattern at all. On top of that, the Android framework did not even provide native solutions for problems created by the system itself, especially specifically the components life cycle. What the, does this mean? We will start with the data pining in the uh, in the next couple of minutes, and we will uh, learn how these mistakes, the old mistakes, has been recovered by making the data binding the view model, the live data, and the room database. We will start by the main component or the, or, uh, the architecture component first with the data binding. So before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Master Coding, and download Master Android from uh, application from Play Store to get all these lessons written and inside uh, this application. Don't miss to rate us five stars on Udemy. So we can, we can uh, make us very motivated to produce more videos.